Tsunamis cause widespread destruction and unimaginable devastation. Here we bring you 13 utterly shocking post tsunami findings. Number 1 is unbelievable. Number 13, a concrete dock. The 2011 Japanese tsunami dragged four large docks out to sea. Over a year later, a dock from the port of Misawa washed up on the Agate Beach in Oregon. The dock was 66 feet long. The inside was made of styrofoam and the outside was concrete and metal. Somehow, this massive object managed to drift nearly 5,500 miles across the entire ocean. After it washed up on shore, scientists inspected the dock and found that over 90 types of sea creatures had sailed along for the ride, many of them being invasive species, causing worry that they would negatively affect the local ecosystem. Locals also feared more debris could arrive and be fatal because it's a popular surfing beach. If the ocean could carry a dock weighing 188 tons from one continent to another, just imagine what else it could bring. Number 12. A Soccer Ball In 2012, David Baxter was strolling along a beach in Alaska when he came across a seemingly innocent soccer ball. He noticed that the ball had Japanese characters written on it and brought it home to his wife, Yumi. Being Japanese herself, she decoded the ball's message. The ball listed the owner's name, the name of a school, and a good luck message. She used this information to contact the ball's owner, 16-year-old Misaki Murakami who had lost the ball during the Japanese tsunami in 2011. He said that it was a going away gift from his classmates before he transferred to a different school in 2005. Yumi made arrangements to ship the ball back, having lost nearly all of his possessions. Misaki was ecstatic to receive the ball and be able to keep one of the sentimental items he thought lost forever. Number 11. A Village Sign the village of Tanohata, Japan, was almost completely destroyed by a tsunami in March 2011. Later that year, on October 13th, a wooden sign from the village washed up on Kahaku Beach on Hawaii's Ahu Island. The sign read, Shimonokashi Village Housing from an apartment complex in the area. While it may not seem like a valuable item to the people of Tanohata, the sign represents their path to recovery and the strength of their people. If a sign can survive this storm, surely they can too. The sign is now displayed in the town as a reminder not only of the past, but of their goals for the future. Number 10. The Mystery Creature Directly after the 2011 Japanese tsunami, a video went viral of a strange white mass that washed up on Japanese shores. People believed it to be a mysterious animal from the deepest depths of the sea. From afar, it appeared to be a whale, but its shape wasn't exactly right. Up close, its texture made it appear to be some type of rock or boulder, and for some time, this was the accepted theory. However, when the supposed rock began decaying, people were puzzled again. Few people wanted to get close enough to the creature to study it, fearing what it was capable of. In the end, scientists declared that it was likely a large piece of whale blubber that had been separated from a decaying carcass and washed on shore during the tsunami. Number 9. A Harley Davidson Motorcycle in 2012, Peter Mark couldn't believe his eyes when he stumbled upon a white storage container with a Harley Davidson motorcycle inside as he was walking on Graham Island, just off the coast of British Columbia, Canada. At first, he took pictures of the debris, which also included golf clubs and camping equipment, and left the beach. When he returned, the tide had swept away the container and the motorcycle was half buried in the sand, causing more damage to the bike. When he saw the Japanese license plate, he knew that it must have been from the Japanese tsunami the previous year. He contacted Harley-Davidson, who helped him locate the owner, Aiku Yokoyama. The company offered Aiku a replacement for his 2004 night train. But thinking of the devastation around him and having lost multiple family members in the tsunami, he refused, saying he didn't feel right accepting such a generous gift when those around him were suffering. Instead, he asked that the motorcycle be displayed in a prominent location in the Harley Davidson Museum in Milwaukee, representing the tragedy and remembering the lives that were lost in it. Number 8. A Mutated Wolffish 
Between the Japanese island of Hokkaido and the Russian coast, fisherman Hiraska Hirosho made the catch of a lifetime when he captured what appeared to be a giant, terrifying sea creature. At first, nobody was able to identify the animal, and rumors spread about the tsunami causing sea creatures to emerge from the depths. One factor that made the 2011 Japanese tsunami so dangerous was the destruction of the Fukushima nuclear plant, which released nuclear waste into the nearby waters. It's still not exactly clear the effect this has had on the surrounding marine life. The fish was later identified as a wolf fish, but they usually only grow to around 4 feet. This one was nearly 6 feet in size and appeared to have mutated features. What other mutated animals could be lurking in the waters? Number 7. A Shipping Tote a 4x5 plastic shipping tote washed up near Seal Rock, Oregon after the 2011 tsunami. The tote had been floating at sea for three years before appearing on shore. While it didn't contain any other items, nearly 200 blue mussels had hopped on for a ride and were attached to the inside and outside. Scientists were concerned that the tote had introduced invasive species into the area, but after inspection, it was determined not to be a threat. Number 6. A Beluga Hybrid Amidst the devastation from the 2011 tsunami, locals found a terrifying creature they'd never seen before. This strange animal appeared to be an odd mix of a beluga whale and a shark. Without knowing what to make of the animal, local scientists became involved in the end. The animal was determined to be a mega mouse shark, a filter-feeding fish that lives in the depths of the ocean and is rarely seen by humans. Number 5. A Rowboat on April 7, 2015, a group of students from Del Norte High School in Crescent City, California, found a rowboat with Japanese writing. It was named Kamome, which translates to seagull. Discovering that it belonged to a Japanese high school in Rikuzentakata and had been lost in the tsunami, the Del Norte students cleaned the boat and worked with officials in the United States and Japan to return the boat to its original owners. The Japanese school was so pleased by the generosity that the two high schools became sister schools and organized exchange visits between the students. The event also inspired a bilingual children's book about friendship and generosity. Number 4. A Man and His House as the 2011 tsunami was approaching Japan, Hiromitsu Shinkawa made the daring decision to run back into his house for some personal belongings, racing against the wave. Within minutes, he was swept out to the ocean, clinging onto the roof of his home for survival. He was able to create a makeshift red flag, but no helicopter or boat that passed saw him floating among the debris. Finally, after two days stranded at sea, he was found 10 miles away from the shore. He was grateful for his luck, but devastated that his wife was still missing. He may not have escaped with his belongings, but at least he escaped with his life. Number 3. A Squid Fishing Boat Just before the 2011 tsunami, the Rayo Unmaru was scheduled for scrapping. The tsunami wave set it free and released it on one final journey across the ocean. This ship began drifting across the Pacific Ocean, posing a danger to other boats in the area, since no one was commanding it. When the 164-foot squid fishing boat began approaching the coast of Alaska, not only was it a danger to other ships but to people on shore as well. The US Coast Guard destroyed the ghost ship by firing high-explosive ammunition and it sank within hours, ending its year-long journey. Number 2. A Yacht After the 2011 tsunami, destruction was everywhere, items from land, including houses, had washed out to sea and things from the sea had washed onto land. Among these items were various boats and yachts. In Otsuchi, one yacht in particular landed right on top of a two-story house, with the house remaining completely intact. This sightseeing yacht stayed on top of the house for two months until cranes and pulleys were finally used to remove it. Number 1. Shoes with the feet still in them. While the mystery of these bodiless feet hasn't been solved yet, one of the accepted theories is that they're the result of the 2004 Japanese tsunami. Beginning in 2007, locals in Washington and British Columbia, Canada began noticing shoes washing up on shore. As they approached, they noticed that these shoes still had feet in them. 
Between 2007 and 2016, 16 different shoes have been found, from running shoes to hiking boots. One theory is that the feet are from people who were swept out to sea during the 2004 tsunami. Experts say that water speeds up the decomposition process and the currents are strong enough to separate limbs. Since sneakers contain rubber, they're more likely to float than other body parts and several other items from Japanese tsunamis have washed up on these shores before. However, the tsunami isn't the only theory. Some say it's too strange and that foul play must be involved, perhaps a serial killer or human traffickers. Hey guys, it's Angelo Cruz of this channel. I wanted to let you all know I've set up a Patreon account where I'll be offering very exciting and very exclusive bonus footage available only to people on Patreon. There, your voice will be heard regarding things you want to see and which direction I take my channel. Click on the end screen here to find out more or on the link in the description below. Thanks guys and I hope to see you on Patreon soon.